Hey, Sean, you know what today is? I know what today is. 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 No, today is. Is today, is today an anniversary of some kind? Yes. Hey, patron, uh, Patreon patrons, thanks to you, we've done this oh for a full year. Goodness. This is our 12th episode. You guys oh are so amazing. Woohoo! I don't have any noisemakers, but yes. We've done it. We've done we've done a year. It's taken more than a year, but you know what? That sometimes <laughs> you have projects that take more than a year when everything takes longer. We've all gotta just be patient. This is That's great. Right. So year. this is season one and this is amazing. It's I can't believe it. Yeah, so thank you to all the patrons. It's because of you. Um I can't wait to see what happens for our second season make sure um you know spread the love of you if you like what you were doing here by all means and um yeah so happy, happy anniversary, anniversary buddy and i couldn't be happier we have done some, some weird things on here we've done some fun things we've uh we've gotten into some some heavy subjects and some lighter subjects but i th i think it's been a roller coaster I for sure but yeah what remains throughout <laughs> it all is that We've both grown throughout this process, and it's been a, a nice bonding experience, and I can't wait for another season. Here, here. Uh, well, with that, let's get on to the rest of the episode. Welcome to Two Brains, One Bottle, the podcast strictly for the patrons of Room 6, the YouTube channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene, and the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And we are here for the March episode, celebrating, among other things, St. Patrick, that great Irishman who did something to someone somewhere. <laughs> Saint, the Saint of Patrick's. Yes. and Also quick... known to millennials <clears throat> as Patrick Starr. Okay. Patrick Starr from Spongebob. Oh, sorry. Yeah. St. No, Patrick, right. Patrick Starr, the patron saint of millennials. Sorry, Hello. man, I'm Gen, I'm Gen X over right. here. I'm Gen X. So. Oh, it's all right. But uh, now I, Millenn I, millennials, shout out in the comments. I know we, I know we shout out. Because so I'm running is... the comments now, as per last, <laughs> yeah. last That's month's right. episode. That's right. If you heard the February episode, you heard that Sean is is now in charge of ruining the comments. I've spamming been the comments section. Been Look doing it for a it. month, and I've ruined <laughs> the show. I said I would Ow. do it last. My my resolution was to be consistent this year. Yeah, right. Going to be consistent. Uh, so, I'm not drinking an Irish whiskey. Are you drinking an Irish whiskey? I am not drinking an Irish whiskey. Perfect. Drinking, that is I, oh. that's perfect for two brains one bottle. I'm drinking Scotch. I'm drinking Toller Badine Scotch, a single malt Highland Scotch, which um, is quite lovely so far. But you, sir, what you got? I've got an Aberlour, uh, Space Side Single Malt Scotch. Oh, Space Side. He's, he's getting a little, a little spicy with it. I like, no, no. Space Sides are the nice, mellow Highland notes. The the crisp, clean fruit notes no, of uh, no. double cask maceration in sherry oak. I'm still a Highland so, man. So, you know, I just, it's, it's yep. as Rex from Whiskey Tribe says, it's Space Side. It's a Space Side. Yeah, it is. It's just a delicious little delectable little thing, and it's one of my favorites. It's a wonderful go-to, and it's not something I get all the time because I'm yeah. still trying to be consistent, and then right. trying to get nicer things instead of just things to pass. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Right. So I have the uh, like as I mentioned, I have Toller Berdine. I have actually have the Artisan, which is a little different. Um, they this whiskey has matured its entire life in ex bourbon barrels before being bottled at eighty proof. And you can really taste it in a nice, it's got that really nice, gentle wood taste as opposed to the, we threw some staves in this thing for, you know, two weeks or whatever. Mm. This new release, uh, or this new version of theirs, it's um, it definitely has more of a floral and like a cereal grain type direction. Um, on the nose, it's really like, it's again just like the last one we did in February, soft little honey, but there's heather. Thanks to you, I, I now know what what heather smells like in a whiskey, um, and and that that whole like they're embracing 
we're in the highlands let's go with like you know the, the heather and the, the the grass and all all you know the terroir if you will plus there's the usual vanilla and the you know bacon spices um but yeah like i said real subtle on the oak barrel uh smells and and taste it's just from the first moment i tasted it i'm like this is my tuesday night whiskey this is so just the straight neat my i'm just nicely coated on the inside which wow okay let's take that back a second <laughs> it's okay He's, it's okay sometimes you just gotta follow the train of thought until the end of it and then yeah. Back no, 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 after but it. yeah, no. As it's... we as we learned the last episode, yeah, you can go too far and come back. Mm -hmm. Well, unlike the, um, I'm gonna, I'm sure this is wrong, but unlike the the Kaigen, uh Japanese whiskey I had, which was kind of honey forward until it had aired out a little bit, this the honey is just it's all blend like uh, all balanced. They did the um, Tolo Berdine, I think did what a lot of Scotches <coughs> try to do, which is I'm tasting all the notes, but none of them are overwhelming or, you know, this is not a blah, blah, blah scotch. This is not a X, Y, Z scotch. This is just a nice scotch and I can taste where it was made. Uh, and then just for fun, they threw in a little like, you know, biscuit mm -hmm. <laughs> on the end there. So uh, it's in the, the finish. Like I said, the, the Kaigon was a, a whiskey I'd want to have throughout a whole meal. This is the whiskey I want after the meal. Because it's just nice. Is it is it a cleaner, crisper, mm -hmm. easier, lighter finish? Or a creamier, thicker, warmer, luxurious, heavier feel? Yes. It's, oh. it's, right, okay. It, it's a little You're creamy. You're saying there's, there's a lot of depth to the mouth feel. Yeah, it's a little creamy. Um, oh, hey, it's my kid. Say hi. Show him, no, show, show him your gaming headphones. Hi, hi kid. Hi. Nice. Look how big oh, they got little ears. Bye. That's cute. Bye. Are you going That's to bed so or something? So cute. Okay. Good night. I thank you. I love you. Right. My thirteen-year-old daughter came in to say good night. That's that. That's a rare. So yay. Oh man. I'll, oh, Take it. Those are great. They are. They are. You know. Oh. Um. Are you still doing that workout? That. Um, oh, what was it? The wrestler yoga yet workout or whatever it was uh ddp ddp yeah, yoga yeah, you still doing the ddp so that's uh that's on the docket for this year i'm starting by trying to stay more limber throughout the day right i, I find myself stretching and trying to pull muscles out of weird spots <laughs> as they happen instead welcome of to waiting. 40 bub yeah and, but instead of waiting until like oh i have to do yoga today like i'm just doing it when it's happening right you know you know when you start like you know when you start making enough money that you just start buying the shit you need and you stop having to wait like and yeah doing it all in one lump sum mm -hmm. i've i have started to learn to appreciate time enough to just do it and be there in the moment and just say you know what no my back's bothering me and i gotta fix it so it's just gonna take a couple minutes and I'd rather just get it done here and now than fucking wait until tomorrow at 7 when it's scheduled. Right. Well, the listeners are now hearing a lot of crinkling. Do you know what this package is that I haven't opened yet? No. What is that? Is it, That looks like an article of clothing. It's something soft. It's malleable. It goes I'm trying with to something. Be, I'm trying to be helpful to our audio listeners. It's a teal bag. It is plasticine. It, but it, it's, uh, hold on a I second. I can't tell if it's an Amazon or if it's a it, like it, a weird FedEx from Canada thing. I don't or know because I came home and it, it had arrived when I came home, so I don't know if it was dropped at the door or what. But okay. hang on, hang on a second. It goes with something that, speaking to your point, I got tired of waiting and I bought for myself. My wife made me wait till Christmas to actually properly open it and make sure it like works and everything but hang on a second i'm gonna take the headphones this off this is gonna be, right be fun back. it's like you're in my head it's like you know what i'm gonna say like that's right people i'm talking that's right sean's got the mic what the fuck is going on josh can't stop me he can't censor me i say we start a revolution i say we move the plans forward we do the things that were scheduled i'm kidding I'm kidding. Holy shit, it's a fucking lightsaber. Oh my god, it looks so goddamn cool. What the fuck, man? 
That is fucking awesome. I'm like, oh shit, it's blue and red. And green and purple and pink and fuchsia and magenta and white. It's got 16 colors. Holy including, shit. Including, of course, it's got two shades of pink. I want to tell you something. I went <laughs> Allison that I was going to put lightsabers on the walls. If I could find lightsabers that fucking cool, they're going on the goddamn walls. Uh, I found it online, uh, eBay actually. So I was like, mm, I don't know. And I had to wait. It it oh, charges it, it 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 charges um and then when it's unplugged it it lasts for a long time but here like I made sure to have the speaker on because you can there's a quiet mode I'm gonna turn the lights back on so you can see but I had That's that so what's in cool. that package what's in that teal colored package is a full set of Jedi robes you know what's hood. you know what's amazing what? we will I wish we could re-record this moment as like almost shot for shot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to film it, to put it out on YouTube, because that oh, is a cool. Yeah, I'm not filming this, damn it. I oh, know well, that's I'm what so I'm saying. Sorry. We're not. That's what I'm saying. It's like we're well, not you know doing what? video filming because no? it's not. It's no. It's got to be easier than that. Yeah, you know, may, maybe but... if if the if the patron thing keeps happening, maybe oh, we man. can upgrade Patreons. to actually. Maybe Patreons. we can upgrade Patreons. to actually having video versions of this. That'd Patreons. be great. You got to share this oh. around. You got to get people gotta... listening to this. It's got to hurt If you're a patron, hold on. I'm going to say something very controversial. Okay. If you're a patron, fucking do it. Fucking share it with your friends. Make your friends listen to it. Bootleg this shit. Put it on CDs. Put it on Spotify. Put it on YouTube. It's fine. Hey, Eddie's back. That's right. Yes. Oh, man. Hey, Josh. Hey, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Hey, so what, you're having a little chat with the patrons? No, no. I would never do that without you present. I would never talk to them by myself <laughs> like you were listening. Sure. What? Never. <clears throat> so... Well, the reason I asked about the GDP is that um, I have a confession to make to our lovely listeners and to you. I, I I took a few months off of working out. It didn't mean to be a few months off, but when it suddenly got very cold, working out at lunch and having to knowing that I'm going to come out with a sweaty head, go back to working in the warehouse where I do uh, the uh, the uh, tech support and IT stuff. I'm like, I no, that sounds terrible. And then I'm like, well, okay, I'm I'm layered up to be warm. So I don't want to work out beforehand and then shower and then go to work because that means getting up really too early. I don't want to work out after work and go home and shower because I'm coming out with a wet head and it's dark. So it's even colder. So I suddenly found myself like rationalizing. I'm not working out. I'm not going to the gym. And I, I've been not really caring about my diet. So I, I, my, now that it's, you know, March now, I, I'm going to have to, um, Hopefully it's gonna start warming up here, and I'm gonna to have to kick it back in gear. Um, and I know they're super effective. I know that they are really good for burning fat and and just building the overall core and leg strength. Lunges, man, they just they just feel like a really big step forward. Nothing. Man. Nothing. <laughs> On my audio, it has been dead silent for about two and a half minutes. So you're going to watch two and a half minutes of flat string of silence. Hey, man, you're I'm used to it. setting up that joke for that punchline to hit. And that silence doesn't <laughs> fucking change. <laughs> So this Check is ass. the future, Josh. It's all right. I deserve it. I deserve it for that pun. I deserve it for that pun. I, I think I, I did a good so, job setting it up. I think, but all oh, right. Oh man, let's let's get into the whiskey. Um, so Oof, okay, we already talked about it a little bit. You're drinking what? Uh, I am jumping into the Aberlore Twelve, which is where, from, which is uh, where from, which is from it's where? A, it's the Space Side Single Malt that's double cast matured in sherry and oak. It is. So it's going to be a little sweeter. Probably a little sweeter, a little lighter, but there are oh, going to be some, some more herbaceous notes that I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be um, rude real quick and just jump back on mine for a second. I was talking about how it's a, that nice mouthfeel and just coated and lovely. And I, it was reminding me of something, and I figured out what it was by reading the blurb on the bottle. Uh -huh. Butterscotch. What I'm tasting mm. is this, this thing is like somebody just melted a, a Werther's candy in it and, and it's lovely 
but it's just enough. It's just enough. It's not like, uh, oh, what was that terrible whiskey we had? Um, that was super coyly sweet. One of those flavored whiskeys that we, we know and love. I don't know. Um, it was one, one of the times I was I was basically torturing you with, with whiskeys that were terrible. Yeah, and I've uh, blocked those out. <laughs> yeah, surprising. Right. So Avalor 12. Surprising. Avalor 12. So Avalor 12. Uh, Get your first geek on. Sh- first in sherry, there in oak. Then in oak. On the nose, oh, there's a... a light sherry note, but there's not much to it. Maybe maybe it sat for a second. Hold on, let me get into this. Ote. I'm sorry, I didn't do a tasting while you were talking. It's okay. So now they're going to be waiting for me to come up with things. Would you like to run into another segment, and I will, and then after you introduce it, I'll you'll check oh, back in with me. Oh, he's throwing me a curveball. All right, let's get some weird facts then. Yeah, there, there we go. Is, it's it was it, yeah. There's some. These are just three weird facts I found that I'm like, huh? And the first one, I couldn't find a reason for this, but in Israel. It is illegal to bring bears to the beach. I mean, it sounds common sense enough, but they're what happened, and who's well, got bears to bring to the beach? Okay. I mean, okay. I, I, I want to know the story. Like, at what point did somebody say, "Hey, you know that bear we've got hanging around in Israel? <laughs> Let's take okay. it to the beach." I hear your I hear your story. Yeah. I've got you. Okay. What you got for me? Are they are they arguing about whether or not they're is it black bears or what is it? White it just says it is illegal polars? to bring bears to the beach. No, I mean is there are they worried about the species? Is it like an ecosystem problem? I I feel like it's a public safety thing. I mean Is it just the a... sheer is it the sheer amount of bears? Just all bears, every kind of bear? Apparently. It... But just a tsunami of bears, bear NATO. Bear NATO. Can we can we do that? Can we do a bear NATO set up? Um, oh, okay. Here's the deal. I, I I I found. Here's the deal. Apparently. Apparently. A, a bear. You're fucking welcome. That one's for free. No, it's not. You paid for that. That's, That's what you right. pay for. That's wow. what you get the money for. And speaking of which, thank you, patrons. If you're listening to this, you're a patron on Patreon for Room Six, and you. You are the reason we do this. Thank you so very much. Um, this is for only only you guys. We're not doing this for anybody but ourselves and for you. And we hope you enjoy this free form, you know, podcast that really has no restrictions on it, other than uh, we, we try to keep it to an hour. Uh, and anyway, it's fun. It's but fun. It, it, it's it is, so yeah. much fun. Oh, this is the most fun I have all all month. Um, if you live in Israel and you have a pet bear, I was just gonna say, look, man. If it's, if at least, if at minimum, it's not like, oh, it's, you know, don't let in, the, the brown bears or the black bears. Right. At least Israel is united against one, one thing, their, their biggest, their biggest opposition. Right. Well, I saw, so, a, I saw a so, gif of a bear playing at the beach, so, so it happens. So, Democrats, be more like Israel. <laughs> wow. Boom. Ah. Dropping that nugget. Ah. Mm. Look at it. Look at it. That's right. I hit you right in the face with that. I'm, I'm going to have to get this. Just enjoy it. I'm going to have to get this this sound bit on a sound bite on on ready like ready to go. But that's right. Words of take Joey that Lawrence. Off the, take it off the chin. Whoa. Whoa. So, um, Whoa. but yeah, apparently, if you have a, a pet bears in Israel is a thing. If you take it to the beach, you get a, a hefty fine. And I'm just like, that's... okay. Whatever. I don't know why Israel Israelites are keeping pet bears, but whatever. Um, we're you know what? Them... Because 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 bears are as popular as guns over there. Uh, okay. Right. They've populated them to the point where they're used for self defense. I just That's never even knew. Everyone's got a bear. I didn't know just Israel like had here, bears. Everyone's got a gun. 
Yeah. You know, we're just the same. It's the same thing. We're all the same. That's it. Democrats. Furry Listen, on the outside. We're all the same, guys. <laughs> we're all worried about the same thing. Don't take our shit. We won't take your shit. But stop <laughs> taking our shit. We all feel the same way. I'm bringing the disenfranchised together. Oh. 2024, I'm running for fucking president. No, I'm Sean not. For... But you know what? It's, Flam it's for president. Said it here. I said it here. <laughs> said it twice. If I say Flam... it three times, I'll show up in your mirror and I'll he's give the you a first little president that He's the first president that will promise you to give you the flim flam. <laughs> oh, no. I will, give, I will never give you the flim flam. I'm sorry. What what is your uh, what what is your website name <laughs> or your stage name? Sean Flam Drummer. I thought Flim Flam was one of your things. Oh, your no. Flim Flam, the Flim Flam podcast or? No, no, oh. that's that that uh, that podcast is the Flam Slam podcast. Flam Slam. There you go. Yeah, drop the are, Flam Slam there, on there, you. There were a couple episodes of that. That is a nice little deep cut. Um, and I recorded an episode not long ago, oh. and I posted it. Well, you know, if you need a guest, maybe, you... maybe I will fucking do that. Shit, I will have to do that when I get the studio up and running and get it sound treated, which will Amen. be soon. I have, I have material to start doing it. I have fabric to start on making the sound paneling, the absorption panels. Nice. I'm building those. I've got uh, a sound treatment that's going up on the smaller walls. I've got bass traps now. I've oh, it's gonna start taking shape Chef's real kiss. fucking soon. Nice. Well, hey, if real you need a guest, soon. you need a guest to, to throw weird questions at. You know who to call. Yes, um, it'll right. it'll be it'll be. Hope this is my big thing for 2022. We talked about uh, New Year's resolutions. We talked about moving into like preparing for this year. I want to get this shit together. I, Please. I want to. Yep. I want to drive, drive, drive. I want to keep working at this. I want to keep getting this moved forward. I'm trying to hold myself accountable through mm. this. Now, at the risk of speaking of resolutions, at the risk of bringing so by you now down, I will have. Oh, damn! That's a good thing. That's a good one. By now, what will I have done in a month? There you go. Never mind. I'll, well, I'll worry hey, about that. I'll at the risk of later. at the risk of, of ruining your high here, um, that was a good one. That's, how's that's, how, How's the vegan thing going? It's not. Awesome. Well, if you decide to pick it back up, Hershey's chocolate syrup, Ritz crackers, Dum Dums, and Oreos are all vegan. Dum Dums, you're referring to the little lollipops? Yeah. But then I knew then I knew four out of four of those. Oh, right on. Um I didn't know dude, those. And... Dude, you're hold on, you I was vegan for better part of four five six years somewhere yeah. in there and then kansas you city barbecue you got him you don't think no me learning me wanting to get better at cooking bro, yeah I, I i'm joking um you don't think i found out what oreos for vegan by mm -hmm. accident we call we call these things accidentally vegan foods nice. maybe that would be a that would be a fun little cooking channel to do Take all the accidentally vegan stuff and just make food out of that. Oh, that'd be great. Look at that marketing. There you uh, go. I never um, shut the brain and, off. Well, last last weird fact before we get into what your whiskey's God all about. Last, last weird fact before we get into the Arbor 12. The, the NYPD, the New York Police Department, had a police officer follow Andre the Giant whenever he went out drinking. This was to yeah. make sure he didn't get drunk and fall on anyone. Yep. 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 Cause of death. Andre. <laughs> uh, cause of death, giantism. And did you know that it would take 17 to 22 beers to get him drunk? Yeah, I hadn't, I didn't hear the number, but I knew it was a, a boot. I knew it was a bit. Yeah, he, he big boy. Yeah. He was. Yeah, he, uh, he could fit a beer can mm. in the palm of his hand. This yes, is to could. say, this is to say, could close his hand. Take your little, take your little pinky. Okay. Yep. yep. Take your little pinky. This is for the audio. Okay. Take your little pinky. Wrap your palm, just your palm, around it, mm -hmm. and then tighten your fingers. He could do that to a fucking beer can. Oh yeah. So, I mean, so like, you know, the Vikings would have thought he was like, a god. <laughs> it's insane. He would put his hand on the top of your head and your face would disappear behind his fingers. <laughs> the man was big. He was large. He was 
he was also one of the kindest, most gentle mm-hmm. fucking people on the planet. He, ah, uh, I miss Andre the Giant so much. And he, he had the grossest sense of humor. He farted on Jake the Snake Roberts. Yes, he did. So heavy that it shook his fucking chest. Oh, That's damn. right. No, I'm telling you the story as Jake told it. And the air hits him and it hits him like a big fucking vibrator. And Andre's laughing and he goes, I'm farting. <laughs> and he's laughing about it. Jeez. He was such a fucking wonder. Oh, man, I love Andre the Giant. I love wrestling. Here, here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, you want to talk about your whiskey, sir? Oh, man, you got me into a good, got me into a good place. So let's see. Uh, taking into account that talking about wrestling brings up nostalgia, we will be nostalgic for a moment and acknowledge another sherry whiskey here. Oh, wow, I just uh, saw the color of your whiskey. There's no mistake in that sherry cask, man. That is... Mine is like a, a light amber, and yours yeah. is, is twice as dark. Let me, uh, give me just a second. Let me do this for you. What is that, velvet? That's nice. Yeah, that is primo. Yeah. Yeah, yours is very blonde. Very yeah. blonde in color. Which, apparently, is my thing. I, I didn't know a scotch could be that light, but man, it is. Yeah, Highlands, and that's the thing. That is the so, the space ideas of space sides live space. in that realm. What was that phrase? Listen, what was that listen word? Listen to me. Listen to me again. <laughs> okay. I'm only giving it to you one more time. Okay. The space sides of space sides nice. will be that light and that blonde, but they are more on the fruit note, whereas the Highlands are more on the wheat note. If you get the Wheat. if you get the highest of highlands, the lightest of lights, it's kind of like the lightest roses mm-hmm. of coffee, where you get all those nice little top end notes. When you do a flight, try doing a flight of the lightest of lights whiskeys next time. Everything right that on. everyone's like, oh, it's whispers of this. You do a flight of those. And you come out of that going, I have so much more appreciation for mid palate. Nobody ever oh. resets their taste buds. Nobody ever resets their bodies. Like, take some time off from, from doing this and go back and do this. Right. So thank you for talking about going vegan because I wanted to say I am going back and I am going to be doing a more uh, plant-based and a more, a more vegetable-based diet coming up because I am going to be working out more. It's kind of like you were talking about earlier with feeling uh, uh, lethargic. I feel... A storm is a coming. A storm so is a coming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting ready to, to get down to another 212 or a 202 or hopefully a 192. Right. I'd really like right to on. hit 192 this year. I, I've been having this weird thing where literally we're every in March, day. Oh, this is a good reminder. We're in March. I better check in with yeah. myself if I'm not on the fucking way. Dude, future Sean. Or actually, what is this? Past Sean? Current Sean. Get your shit together. <laughs> Fucking work. Yeah. There's a message for you to even no, go back to the episode before. No rest days. There we go. Yeah. More continuity. Um, Fucking and, work and, your ass off, you lazy shithead. It's going to work. I'm going to fucking two, remember this, and I'm going to be in better shape because one, of it. One, and I'm going to be listening. Welcome to Two Brains, One Bottle screaming. Podcast, where it's all about love. <laughs> no, no. I degrade myself to get work out of me. Because uh, same here. Because it's just like, I, I fucking, I have yeah. to. I have to. Yeah. It, All right. it works sometimes. But, uh, you know, that's why I that's why I do the drugs. Because it, I'd rather <laughs> do the drugs and the, the, you know, I don't do the screaming out loud. Because the screaming out loud is when I'm in the gym. I'm not going to lie. When I'm pushing myself hard, it's like, get the fuck up. Move your shit. Like, I'm yelling at myself trying to work out right. and get as much done as possible. To that end... To that end, oh you, no, another another line of continuity. Are you Look ready for questions, sir? Always ready for questions. Well, Beth. It, it, different Beth. Different Beth. All right, Beth. Beth again. Yes, Beth. Beth in Betty. space. Betty. Sorry, Betty. Betty. If you had one memory to hold on to that defined who you are now, what would it be? 
If you had to look back in your life and say, that's who I am. That one moment right there. And I've got one. Go ahead. I'm just I, enjoying this this lovely yeah, same cavalcade of, of sherry notes and cream. Cavalcade. Uh, and um, uh, just lovely, lovely vanilla. And is, this is... This is uh, I do. I do. All right. Let me ask you this. I was, I was also, so here's, here's, here's the thing. I want to get into the whiskey, but at the same time, I was fucking right to buy this because I knew that getting this would make this taste better and that together it would be oh, a better experience. You know what? And God damn it. This is where I told myself that I would say to previous Sean, you need to trust yourself more. You see, this is continuity at its best. This ties into the last episode. I love you, future Sean. You're the best. Keep setting me in the right path. There you go. Look at that. You can talk to yourself, and you will listen. <laughs> I, I, you're right. We we didn't really talk about your whiskey. I apologize for jumping the gun, no, Betty. Fine. Betty, we'll get to you. I promise. Hang on. But love you, you Betty. but you talking you, about you talking about resetting with the whiskeys reminded me. Um, recently, I did a, a distillery tour here in in Vegas. That's an area called Area 50, 15, which is this whole. Right. Have you heard about it? You know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. giant warehouse full of like, they let artists go crazy in there. Yeah. Dis the distillery experience is Lost Spirits Distillery. Right. And I took, I took my father-in-law and I took my brother-in-law who works at a, oh, at a brewery. Man. And if you, you were here, man, this. if you were here, I would I have taken know you. I did this. Have you oh, seen the picture? Have you seen the ads or wish, seen pictures? I kind of wish we would have talked about this beforehand. I meant so to last episode. Questions. I meant to last episode. It's okay. We, we, we went right, all over the place. Let's do it. Let's get it. Lost Spirits. Imagine doing a flight. Okay. But there's six tasting stations, and every single one is a different room. Like you're in a different themed yeah. room. Okay. And literally, the last tasting station, you're in a submarine. So you're 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 in uh, you're in Guitar Center. You're going into the acoustic corral. No, no, You've literally, got your own I theme mean room. Okay, what they did was they took a dis they took a distillery tour and they said let's make it theater. Like literally, okay. at one point. You, okay, the, the very the very first part of it, that you 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 walk through a door. You've got a playing card, and my ours were our, our group was glittery gold on one side, and on the other side was glittery gold with black pips. And I was the nine of spades, or clubs rather. And so you're ready, and we have a little passport for stamps, so that you can't like go back and get the same tasting over and over and over. And um, and I'm like, okay, cool. You, you hand in your card. You get to hold on to your passport. You get a you get an actual Glen Cairn, for you know stamp of the distillery thing. You you have to turn it in at the end of the tour. You don't get to keep it. I know. Yeah, your eyes got big. I was like, oh, uh -huh. but yeah. So the very first thing you do is you walk. You do like a U-turn hallway situation, and you walk into a room that's straight out of Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. The door is locked behind you. I'm expecting the ceil the you know the ceiling to start raising or the floor to start sinking. And right. but what happens is after they do their first, you do your first tasting right there, and it's a rum. Uh, what happened was this particular tour was five rums, and then they finished after five rums with a peated scotch, and th that was kind of like, oh. oh, yeah. But get this, the rum we started with was like eighty something proof. Mm -hmm. We got up eventually to one hundred and twenty two proof, mm -hmm. and that was fun. And then right after that, you went back to the first one, and suddenly you were, there were all these notes you could taste that you didn't taste at first because you were busy like, it's my first hit of rum, you know? <clears throat> right. Well, we enjoyed the experience, but as a distillery, the guy who works at a brewery was like, mm, that information seems, that, that you just said doesn't seem quite right. Like, he was saying that to us. There were a few things. They were they. This distillery is taking a, a hard left turn on a lot of things, including um, they're using chunks of of wood as opposed to barrel aging. Yeah. But, but the way they're doing it, it seems to like you could still taste the barrel, which was it's weird. like stave aging, kind of. But it wasn't actual staves. Um, and but no, uh, but it's just chunks of wood. Right. It's like using but, I mean, the scraps like, from the the cuttings. Yeah, it was really a cool experience. But when you said about resetting with the drinking, with the, the different whiskeys, I was like, that reminded me of that. Um, so, that being said, we're 35 minutes already. Um, what do you have to say about the whiskey? Arbalor 12. So we've gone through uh, uh, creamy vanilla notes. There's definite vanilla pod in there. 
it's a custard it's a it's a it's not a frozen <coughs> custard it is a accompanying another dish custard are you it getting berries a, i'm getting i'm getting side excuse dish excuse me from it hmm. you know those side tarts dish. you know those fruit tarts that have like a little bit of custard at the bottom of it and then some fresh berries mm -hmm. that's what i think you're it's what i'm th uh, thinking of when you describe it berries and cream berries and cream Yes. Okay. It's going to be a fun one. Mm. There's equal parts fruit leather and fruit compo pudding that's airy. What? But it, listen to me. It's airy. Like it's got air folded into it. But also, like, it's got smoothed out just pearls, kind of like boba, but not boba shaped. Uh, like, fruit hunks, yogurt, custard. These are just words screaming out to me about huh. mouthfeel. Like, I'm trying to get the, the texture right, but that's so where it's at. It's, so it's got layers and it's complicated. It's, yeah, there's a lot to it, and it's just, it's, it's a lot of single notes. All hitting me at different times. But the fruit leather ties, like, wrap fruit leather. So what I did was I said a bunch of words that had ethereal qualities about lightness and heft and weight. Right. And then I want to take the fruit leather and wrap it around all of those words, <laughs> tighten it up into a little bouquet and eat that. That's what that is like. Wow. But I want to know, but I want to know why. I want to know why I pull away at the point where it hits my tongue to where it goes to the back of my throat. Because the ABV is 40%, but there's a note in there that's, that's hitting me, hitting my palate with such a stringency that it's making me pull back. So I want to find that because oh. it's, it's like, it's, it's a lovely piece, and I love this fucking whiskey, but I've never noticed that. And it's not black licorice, which is the same visceral feeling I get. But with black licorice, I know what it is. And I know it is the thing I don't like. Right. It's black licorice. Right. This I don't know. And okay. I want to I wanna find that, that note. All right. Well, because in the interest of time... I'm going to go ahead and move on to Betty's question real quick and answer it while you think about that, okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, if you had one memory to hold on to that defined who you are now, what would it be? For me, Betty, I'm a performer. In some way, shape, or form, I've always been a performer. Literally from a kid where I, my mom had a, a, a little music box and I would dance around to it. And that led to me studying dance, which led to me figuring out I don't necessarily want to be a dancer anymore i want to do you know i want to be a rock star or whatever it is that you know young me thought where i started learning about music and eventually when the last time the band broke up by text message tom <laughs> uh i was like i'm okay i think i'm done with this for now i'm gonna take a hiatus and i started looking at other ways i could express my creativity which led to youtube which led to this all that me being said, I'm a performer, and the one memory I look back to above all else is not like, oh, my first time ever performing in front of people. It actually is something fairly recent. When I graduated high school, um, I, I managed to win a competition, a, a little video competition to sing the national anthem at my college graduation. I, I know I just said high school. I meant when I graduated college. I call it, okay, so I'm at the Orleans Arena in, in Vegas singing through their system which was 
amazing to a packed house and I'm told right before I'm going to perform that, oh, by the way, there's all these veterans in the front <laughs> that are there in uniform. We're honoring them too. So I get to sing the national anthem of two veterans. And I something tr- just triggered in me and I performed that song like I'd never performed it before. Got an amazing reaction. And the mayor of Vegas was there and she said that she'd never heard a better version of it. And that, to me, was like, music is st- it's still there. You know, I hadn't performed in, in, in front of people in two years, and it was still there. And, and I was able to just, and that's what told, that's what reaffirmed to me. That's that memory that says, yes, I'm still a performer. I should still be performing for people, whether it's on YouTube or, you know, at a, at a bar or something. Um, and for me, that solidified that desire to con- to still make like it, it, it rationalized why I have musical gear behind me in room six why I still have this stuff why I studied I took drum lessons from Sean it, it, it really gave me that validation of okay I still have something to offer musically even though now I'm older and and just because I'm not you know a pop star or whatever rock star doesn't mean doesn't negate the fact that I still ha- there's still a talent there that people appreciate so for me, that's that one memory. Uh, Sean, how about you? He's contemplating. Young pomegranate. <laughs> Lime concentrate. Yellow custard. How do you know the difference between young and old pomegranate? You taste enough young underripe fruit. I I ate a lot of green stuff as a kid that shouldn't have been green. Like I ate stuff that was underripe. Gotcha. Green mean mean green go. Yeah. Like I I have no idea what green is. There's a reason. There's a reason I put my water in a green tinted uh, decanter. It's because I want to be reminded that greens greens go. You know, I gotta you I go. gotta keep going with the water. Gotta go with the flow of life. I I'm trying to really lean into something that makes sense. And I don't know. Maybe it's color theory. Who fucking knows, man? I just I hope that by March I've kind of gotten an idea down about life nice. it's fucking scary recording this podcast sometimes man you're it welcome the shit out of me thank you it fucking worries me <laughs> I'm like, oh my well un- unlike the interviews i do which are in my kitchen and then the performance answer, that they do is in room six this doesn't answer, require me to clean up anything that's true no i know you're good you're good but to answer the question one memory defines who you are now one memory that defines who i am ever since the incident at the academy defines who i am defines who i am it's a great question buddy I'm trying to think. So I've got, I've got the, I've got the message. Okay. And I've got a memory of it, but I'm trying to see if I can find an earlier version of it. And I'm right there and I got it, but it's. You can do it. Well, while we're waiting on Sean, I just want to say, if you have any questions you want us to answer, or you have any comments or anything, go or if ahead you and want it, to sh- if you want to hurt Sean's brain, go ahead and just ask him the most innocent, innocent of questions. By all means, you uh, can email us. You can you can just leave a comment, or you can reach out to us through uh, social media. But you can also email us 
at two brains one bottle at gmail.com and uh, is that two is that the number two is that uh, you are correct it is two the the number two brains well it, you can see the thumbnail it's two brains one bottle at gmail.com and josh don't get so angry i'm not angry i'm telling I'm just, them i'm, I'm just, just trashing you i'm crying <laughs> You're I'm not sorry, allowed I was that. Trying allowed. to wedge one in, and that's what took me so long to worry about uh, instead of Bev's question. Um, I hate you. Look, if there's an experience that sums me up uh, as I am right now as a person, it's got to be uh, probably the moment I was in high school and I was marching out onto a uh, competition field. I had uh, a breakfast of waffles and powdered sugar, waffles. and I ate nothing for lunch. Oh, no. I, I made my own breakfast. Thank you very much. There was maple syrup. Thank you. It was delicious, uh, and it tasted great going down. However, I didn't chew a fucking thing. I just shoved it down a pie hole, and I got in the car and went, and I got to school. I'm very, I operate in this, this, uh, this high of an intensity. I just shovel things down and just get into the place and I want to get done as soon as possible because I want to go home and I want to relax. Same. It's very stressful to be out in front of people. So I compress my entire day down. I, uh, oh man, I work through all of my classwork. I, I stuff it into my bag and it just all gets shoved down to the bottom of the backpack and uh, I throw the backpack in the back of the car and I throw the gear I need to take down to the field in the car and I just drive it down, drive it back up. And it's another point I look up at the clock and I see it's another time and I put my head back down and I get done the next amount of work I know I have to do. Get back into the next place, look up at the clock, keep going. I feel like my life is just, uh, it's, it's been run by time the whole time I've been alive. Okay. And so the moment that I feel like I just sums me up to a person was I'm spun out, I'm done. And I'm feeling, I'm so, I'm strung so tight from trying to run things from behind the scenes. Cause my mom and dad are band boosters and I'm, you know, in the, I'm, I'm one of the drum captains and we're doing this leading thing and that, and we're doing new drill and we're doing new music. And there's so much on my fucking plate. Right. As, as a kid, as a fucking kid, it's like, it's like being managed by higher ups and it's corporate structuring. And that's why I wish if I could go back in time and talk to younger me, I would explain to him how school works. There you go. There's your previous episode. Right. But I think that something that sums me up is just the whole, we don't have time to worry about it. We will get to the end of this project and we will get into the next one. Like, it's just, that is my MO. It just sums me up. It's like, we're, you're never going to get a perfect fucking score. We, we've won sweepstakes and never won perfect scores. Right. And you have to be okay with that or you have to strive for better. And that's really the, the crux of humanity. You're either comfortable saying, I don't have to be the best, but I do want to be really fucking good at what I do. I do want to know things extensively. I do want to be an interesting person to talk to. And there are just... I mean, at least 50 shades of gray in there where there are different personalities of the same boring person. But, right. um, but yeah, I think something that defines me is, should I keep running away from the moment? Um, so that, uh, breakfast came back up as we're marching onto the field and I run over to the sideline, vomit extremely quickly get back up, run back onto the field, throw my drums back down, go back into the cadence, start the show, march through the whole show, black out the show, uh, got to the end, marching off the field, we get off, uh, we won sweepstakes. 
Nice. We, we fucking crushed that show. And it was one of the best performances of my life. And you know what? That sums me up to a T. I've been doing, I've been coming in clutch all these years. And this is kind of how I do interviews. And you want to talk to me about time, but we got 10 minutes left, my friend. So oh, I will take that time. Oh, um, good. And honestly, I can attest to that having been in a band with you. Uh, my timing you, is you pretty fucking clutch. accurate when I need to mm -hmm. uh, buckle down. Right. So I've always got my little my little clock in front of me. That's, uh, oh man, I wish I could tell my younger self, put a fucking clock down by your left foot. Oh, if everyone on stage had clocks and they could see what time it was. Yeah, right? Oh, why uh, is that not how, essential? House of Blues has a clock right in the wings saying like, you know, how, what time it is or how, or yeah. They have a, they had a clock when we, I played there anyway. It was nice. Just like, yeah. This is your Every time. Every venue needs You're done. That. Yeah, really. Every venue needs it. Um, okay, so moving on. So yeah, that sums me up. Is I come in clutch, but that's because it's what I'm fucking used to. I've been doing it my whole life. I'm conditioned right. to it. And if I could just be given a set list further in advance and know that we're not going to make any changes and we're going to have a certain amount of rehearsals throughout... Then you'd be living in a week. dream world. And... Uh, <laughs> Well, you see, if we could be that relaxed, then I wouldn't sound so energized for this show. Hey, there I'd you be go. I'd be calm. And we're back, and we're and up. we're back. So, <laughs> so um, this is but this is what it's like mm. to live in the brain of being emotionally up and down all well, the time. After all that, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and answer this next one. It's it's actually a factual question. Like a, it has an answer. There's an answer to it. I love it's this. go go go. DG asks. Do trailer parks really attract more tornadoes? And the answer is no. The reason why they seem to have like this affinity for tornadoes is that they get damaged way more than more stable or heavier buildings. And so the, 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 the aftermath is just so much worse. Now, if granted there's like Tornado Alley and if you keep building, you keep you know living there in a trailer park, you're at, you're just rolling the dice but you know tornadoes hit all sorts of places a lot more uh, or they, they are as equally uh, uh often as trailer parks it's just the trailer parks are the swath of devastation that you see you're shaking your head no why are you shaking i your don't head? believe you it's i'm reading the thing i'm reading the thing right now guys. i don't believe you there's no 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 I don't believe you. Well, according the, to HowStuffWorks.com. Of course, lightning seeks out fucking aluminum antennas. Of but we're course, not talking about lightning. We're talking about tornadoes. I yeah, I know. I know. Look, look. Bad omens are bad omens, man. You get some. You get the people who... If you are in a neighborhood where people are running out in their front yard, or, you know, the grass between trailers, as we call it, <laughs> and they've got their handheld cameras still, and they've got tapes in them, and they still have batteries. That's right, fucking batteries for the cameras. Uh -huh. And they're screaming at the weather. It doesn't matter what the weather is. The behavior is the same. Yeah. Well, like I said, God. if you still live there, and you know tornadoes like to come through there. That's I live here, man. It sucks. Yeah. I live here. This is where oh, I that's am. That's right. You're in Kansas City now. Yes, yeah. you fuck. Yeah. Thanks for that one. Really hey. nice. I hope... You know well, what, Future Sean? I hope all the earlier things I said to you at the beginning of this episode, <laughs> I hope you've fucking abandoned your dreams. I hope you've given wow. up by now and you've realized that um, it's all not worth it. I hope you die. I hope we both die. <laughs> I told you I'd ruin this fucking show from the inside. Oh, Hopefully no. earlier comment based okay. Sean is fixed in the comments and he's screaming <laughs> right now. All right. So this. it's not I'm quite Kansas. My own, I'm building my own universe. Oh, geez, right? There you go. Whatever makes you happy. But <laughs> it's terrible. We, I'm going to move on to weird news because it's weird news, weird news. There's weird news on the internet and I found it and we're talking about it. Weird news. Something like that. I'm starting to get it. I'm almost with you on it. All right. So um, it's weird. I'm like I'm starting to line up. Yeah. The vocal cues. Pi oh man. Pivoting, getting, pivoting from Kansas. Pivoting from Kansas to Tennessee. Tennessee. A Tennessee lawmaker. Okay. Tried to pants a referee. So Republican shocker. Yes, you heard me. And if you have a problem with that, 
I'm sorry to lose you, but we don't need you. Republican Jeremy Fison posted on Twitter that he, quote, acted the fool tonight and lost my temper on a ref. I was wanting him to fight me, totally lost my junk and got booted from the gym. I've never really lost my temper, but I did tonight and it was completely stupid of me. Emotions getting in the way of rational thoughts are never good. I hope to be able to find the ref and ask for his forgiveness. I was bad wrong. This is fucking representative lawmaker. You can't use that language. Anyway, so he was at a game. He was at a, a, a game in a gym. I think it was uh, basketball. And he got so upset that he tried to pants the referee about his call which i mean i've been i've been drunk and i've made poor decisions but i've never like been so angry i tried to pants somebody what, what is this a schoolyard you know bully any thoughts there sean trying to claim accidental pantsing kind of feels like that's not how this works that's not how any of this works <laughs> oh no step bro what are you doing it yeah, exactly. feels a little weird like i'm just but, trying to picture like at what point are you so angry you sh- you're like i'm gonna but pants you him. want it but you want it and you shouldn't that's the note i'm leaning in on with that with yeah that uh Gross, I'm just and like, that's he didn't he oh, didn't like man. he didn't take a swing at him. That hit me in a very weird bad spot. I don't yeah, like well, it. you're imagine. dragging me away from how nice this whiskey is over here. Well, hey, you know what? Let me just uh, let me see if I can swing you back the other way with Paps Blue Ribbon. Somebody decided they must be tired of working for PBR because uh, this their official account on Twitter. Somebody sent out a tweet advising anyone of abstaining from alcohol for January that they could try eating ass instead. Uh, the best part is that the, the two responses to that right off the bat were Slim Jim. Their Twitter account responded that of course. legal must have been off, must be off until after the fourth because <laughs> yeah. this happened on the third. And the delivery service app Waiter commented that, quote, we don't eat what we don't deliver, and we don't deliver that. <laughs> so, needless to say, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon immediately deleted the tweet and sent out an apology saying, hey, that doesn't speak for us, and that was his associate who, I, I think, if you read um, between the lines, no. they don't work there no more. No. No, you know what? I'm going to gonna go ahead and cut you off, and I'm going to say it's too little too late. I was angry. I was angry about this in 2018 when everybody tried to decide that ass eating was good for, good for everybody, and then coronavirus started. And uh, no, that was bad eating that caused coronavirus. No, 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 no. I know, I know. I don't. I don't think so. I think it was the ass eating. I think more people were eating ass than people were eating bats, (laughs) and that's including the MLB. You're welcome. Yeah. I think. That's not that's not cool, man. No, like just fucking look, look. All right, when you stand up to your partner and you look at them in the face, and you were supposed to be the most vulnerable with them, you're not looking at their junk. So maybe I'm scared where this is going. <laughs> maybe we're all just a little bit more accepting of other people's bodies and we realize that we're all human and there's a gradient just like there are people who are smarter than others people who are smarter than others listen to this fucking podcast if you're a dummy you're not listening or if you're a fucking idiot you had to have one of your smart friends show you this podcast. Shots it's okay. fired. It's okay. <laughs> they pay good money for this shit, and I'm insulting you for free, you fucking <laughs> asshole. Maybe you should listen oh, to this. That's a callback. You piece of you, shit. That's <laughs> a callback. You've used that before. Oh, God. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep the continuity alive. We are, I we are that. actually really good on time. 
just we're good we're good it's well it's we, i have i have two more bits of weird news for you yes, you'll never guess yes, where they yes. come from if you say fucking florida florida man oh florida man so florida man speak so from florida from man. eating from eating the florida ass man. from eating the ass to work in the ass a florida man was arrested and tased for twerking he was caught Okay, for, he, the, first of all, he was caught using a median and a left turning lane to pass cars. So the cops rightly pulled him over. Like he was just being one of those jackass drivers that's like, dude, that, what are you doing? That's Just wait. So he, he got out of his car when the cops pulled him over. You don't do that unless they tell you to. So the police told him to return to his car. So instead he pulls out a knife and tosses it into the grass. And then he starts twerking. So, of course, they had to tase him. <laughs> He's like, I brought a knife. You brought guns. What you got? So they tased him. And uh, uh, it's like, you know what? That's good Good trigger control. Way to not shoot him for that. <laughs> just, just tase his ass. Literally. Oh, Florida, man. But he's. that sounds like kind of a you know bad day. But if you really want to hear a, a, a really bad day, Sean... I've got something to say about that Florida man. I'm sure you do. Bring it. Uh, Dr. Drew would say that uh, certain drugs accentuate certain behaviors in certain patients. And one of the uh, behaviors of doing too much, uh, too much meth, you seek out police. Oh, I forgot just to mention that he, just he was... Just that out there. Yeah, I forgot to mention he was suspected to be under the influence. A shocker. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I just fucking call that? Did Who's I just good? see the Who's pitch a good coming boy? Who's and a good boy? Babe Ruth that motherfucker to left field? Because I did. feel like it did. That's right. Yeah. Well, bam. You know, you know who else you know got what? Babe Ruth you know to move? Oh, go ahead. You know, what? you know what, young Sean? This is it. You listened to yourself. You believed in yourself. <laughs> and you tied it back again. Every oh. callback, I'm going to give you a Shuzba. praise. Hang on, That's right. You know what? You should you should give yourself more compliments. Be, feel freer to give yourself more compliments. You did the thing. You made the laugh. You fucking connected the dots. Or at least you got there if you didn't get the laugh. Sean? You know, sometimes it's all we can do is connect the dots. Josh, how about you connect the dots and tell me about this last story? Well, Sean, I just uh, want to first... You're fucking oh, welcome. Sean, you know, I have to say to future Sean, you are a ray of sunshine on an otherwise cloudy day. So... Speaking of getting Babe Ruth into left field, Florida man was hit by a car and then hit by a school bus. <laughs> so Did he hit the ground in between? So what happened was, he's in the crosswalk. So he's at the, he's got the right of way. And he gets hit by a car. And as he gets up and is like, dealing with all that, he stumbles... <sighs> into the next lane and a school bus hits him and the the kids actually end up getting under the school bus and like going on their way but how traumatizing is that for them oh my god he's a, the, the guy actually is uh reportedly in like uh he's on the mend he's gonna be okay but it's like t how was your day honey <laughs> sit down <laughs> how dare you <clears throat> oh your god those kids <laughs> Saw a man get hit by not one, but two different vehicles and then keep... Are you shitting me? Your God? They saw God. They saw religion happen before their eyes. They saw forgiveness. They saw forgiveness. They saw relief. And they saw a man appreciate his time. That's saw, right. We're going back to abject time. Terror. We're doing it again. They saw abject terror as the bus they're in is about to hit We're him. Giving me another <laughs> carrot. We're there feeding it back into the episode. That's right. Always so, back in. Oh, come God. on. Where did hey, you expect it to go? I know. It's got to go back to time. But hey, you know what? With that, I'm going to raise a toast to you and say, all things considered, life's not that bad. <laughs> could be worse. You could be hit by the school bus. <laughs> And, we, and thank, a sedan. Yeah, and a <laughs> could be a coupe. Who knows? So, with that, I'm going to say oh, thanks. That was good. That thanks was for good. listening to Two Brains One Bottle. Um, please, you know, feel free to tell your friends about this and, and get them to be a patron, and, and and they can enjoy this. More importantly, 
there's some good things coming uh, when I uh, hit a certain goal on the Patreon on, uh, here, and uh, you're gonna you'll all benefit. So hopefully that'll happen soon. Um, other than that, Sean, I'm gonna say remember to be amazing. You got anything to add? I do. I do indeed. Oh no, what you got? I have a, I have a question for you. You just had the last drink of your last whiskey of the night. Mm-hmm. Bold of you to what assume if... that, but go ahead. What advice do you have for the vo- for the most desperate version of yourself? Ooh, desperate for what? That is an open-ended question for a reason, but you just drank your last whiskey. No, no, no. You just oh, drank it. Okay. You okay. just drank it. So um, now you have to be contemplative. I wanted to say that so I can my, enjoy my high. Okay, so my, my most desperate whiskey. version of myself would be when I was scraping someone off the floor last night who had uh, overindulged. <coughs> no, my, my most ver- – my advice to myself would be um, remember your basics hydrate take some ibuprofen get some food and keep hydrating because you do not the hair of the dog is not going to help you here so you're directly talking about drinking your yes. most desperate your most desperate version of yourself well you know fortunately my life is in such a state that my desperation comes from what i do to myself and not what has been done to me oh okay so okay. just like my weight, my, you know, uh, toxic, my, my hangovers, things like that. It's all on me. Oh, I didn't get all the laundry done this weekend. So that's the thing I got to do like on Monday and Tuesday and when that's all on me. Whereas things that are done to me, I'm in a good spot. So I'm not desperate there. Now on our last episode, we talked Fuck. about 10 years you just ago. Scared, you just absolutely scared the shit out of me with that. Thank you so much. You're welcome, buddy. Fuck. Hey, you know I'm here for you. Why don't we say goodbye to our listeners, though? No, that scared me. That I'm just, I'm leaving it there. Because, yeah, maybe we'll talk about that later. But um, I have the same question because we're, we're on our way out. Okay. Or no. No, you asked me if I had any more questions. That was my question to you. I guess, yeah, we're done then. All right. In that case, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Two Brains, One Bottle, and hopefully we'll see you over at Room 6. And all I can say after that is... Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-ba.